census is an exercise which usually happens every 10 years. Indian census is one such exercise which provides us information about different characteristics from the population of India. A census is nothing but a systematic procedure where we try to acquire and record information. And this information is about the different attributes of the population. This raw or unorganized information that we acquire is nothing but called a data. And when we talk about census or something to do with data, we usually talk about statistics. So let us see what all happens when we are dealing with a data in a census. Firstly, a data collection is done over the whole population of a country and it comprises various details of every usual resident of the country like name, gender, place of birth, education, occupation, etc. Now, if this data was just about a family, then it would have been easier to work with this. But since we are dealing with a data of the whole population, so to make it convenient, we start by organizing this large data. For example, take a look at this data from the recent Indian census. We got a data about the population size of India. Now, we can further organize it in terms of gender, or we can organize it in terms of region, rural or urban. Or we can go ahead and organize it in terms of both gender and region. So organization of a data totally depends on what kind of data we are dealing with and what are the requirements of an individual. Now a systematic organization always leads to an appropriate analysis of a data. Like from the recent census of 2011, it was found that the density of population in India is 382 persons per square kilometer or the sex ratio which is females per thousand male is nothing but 943. So these kind of reports or the analysis is nothing but the results that we get from this kind of data. Also the analysis of a data helps us to determine the best course of action we can take and then we can base our decision on how we really interpret this kind of analysis. So I can say India is a densely populated country with a low sex ratio and the literacy rate is also not that great. But I can improve this kind of interpretation. So while comparing the analysis data of 2001 and 2011, we can say the density of population has indeed increased, which means space for individual is gradually decreasing. Similarly, the sex ratio has also improved, but still it is very less. Also, the literacy rate has taken a shoot, but it only inspires us to do better as far as implementing the education is concerned. So these are the kind of interpretations we can make out of the analysis report of a data. Also, this whole data analysis can be summarized and represented in many ways. This is called presentation of a data. Now this section of handling the data is the most vibrant and creative way of visual presentation. For example, take a look at this map of India showing the distribution of population across the country. So the red region is nothing but the region which is highly populated, followed by the yellow region and the green region. So this whole data involving numbers has been color coded and it has been presented in a way which is very simple and easy to understand. This was one of the method of presentation. There are many other ways of presenting a data. One such method is by drawing graph. The other method is by drawing a pie chart. So in short, statistics is nothing but the study which involves collection, organization, analysis, interpretation and presentation of a data. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Do share it with your friends and post your comments. You can watch the entire syllabus of CBSC Math on our YouTube channel. Do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Thank you for watching.